early in the morning down at the station. Ah, here we are. And for today's video, I am doing a big walk from Wellingborough through to Rushton following the dismantled railway. So I thought I'd start here because on the 1st of September 1893, the Wellingborough to Rushton to Highland Ferrers line opened. And I don't know if you know, but only a year has passed since that line has been reinstated. And that is the original Platform 5. And you used to be able to get your steam train on that one take you around to the viaduct and head off that way. Oh, 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 of course. That's a very nice example. So platform five, um, it's now platform four, so you've got one, two, three, and four, but you used to have a third platform in the middle here. It was a bay platform, and that one would take you to Northampton, but that is a story for another day. So over there, you get your train, and you go over to the viaduct, and it will split off, and it will head round to Rushton. So bear with me, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk round to the viaducts and I think we'll start our video from there. So here we are. This is the 14 Arches Viaduct in Erchester, stroke Rushton. Just on the other end of this, there's another little line that would have branched off to the left. Now they are doing a lot of building work and they're, I don't know, I think they're landscaping. I have heard rumours that Ditchford is just about to get a new marina, so it may be to do with that, or it may just be scrapings of soil to go and dump elsewhere, because we know they've got to build a bridge up on the Leyland estate, so maybe. Um, I have done some drone footage, it's a bit windy today, I think we're looking at 26 mile per hour winds and the drone struggles a little bit with that. So um, whilst I'm out in the floodplains here, it's just way too much wind to do it. So I have got some drone footage. It was done in November um, of this. So I think there's a little bit more ah, train. Yeah, so I think there's been a little bit more work done, but at least you get the gist of what they're doing. So um, I'll show you the drone and then I'll make my way up to the other weir, which is just at the back of the, the old Chettles factory. Um, and then I'll continue on my journey from there. So I'll show you the drone footage, I'll show you me walk and up at the lit weir, and uh, yeah, I'll meet you uh, closer to Ditchford Lane. <laughs>
that then. Right, but back to our railway. Now, there's the viaduct, and you can just see a railway bank and a free arch railway bridge down there, and it's lumped at the road. So there's nothing to see in that next field, but me, Jamie, Leanne, and Jamie's wife, Donna, we took a little walk along that part of the railway to the second railway bridge and just on the other side we found something disgusting so um whilst i show you that i'm gonna walk around to ditchford and see if i can start the next part of our railway line so i hope you enjoy oh, yeah so we got to the first viaduct and we just oh look don't you just love derelict stuff that oh shall we look at that yeah steps in it oh. drenched ladies <laughs> what do we put them through Jamie oh, God. and that's it this is only a walk in the rain <laughs> yeah. the rest of their lives they really put them through stuff. God bless our queens yeah exactly yeah again it's got three arches it is isn't it wow yeah Oh wow! Oh, so they used the railway cutting as a slurry pit. That stinks. And of course, the railway line oh, would have come down here and then straight through to Rushton. But I need to move away from there, that's making me heat. We're absolute madheads doing that in the rain. But you know, you can't let the rain hold you back on what you want to do. You can't let that happen in life. You just gotta go for full guns. But it's mental what was up there and the smell from them slurry pits. I mean, it's it's quite a shame that they've used the railway gully for that. But no, I suppose farmer's got to do what he's got to do. Anyway. So I'm just down a little bit. It's probably best I show you on the maps exactly where I am. But this is Ditchford Lakes and Meadows Nature Reserve. And in the back, you can see Rushton Lakes, spend all the money you earn, plaza thing. And just along the other side, when you have a look at some of the maps, it looks like there is a bit of a railway line, gully or whatever it is up there. So, Lakes and Meadows Trail Visitors Centre. And it's muddy as anything. So, um, yeah, this should be quite interesting. Yeah, <laughs> that was a bit slippy, that. But I do believe we are nearly here. Ooh, windy. Now, that road tree there, that should be the railway line. So, let's go have a look you can literally see where the line was ripped up you see this gully it's kind of mounded so that would have been the railway line and then it would have cut straight across this field to meet up with ditchford i'm so sorry about the wind it's pretty bad here but yeah let's have a look nice gates This is it. Wow, dismantled railways. Wellingborough to Rushton to Highland Ferrers is right here. <laughs> awesome, right? It's absolutely mental. I'm not too sure how far along this I can go. That's a vent. I am wondering if we will see anything up here. He who dares. Oh no, I think we're gonna come a cropper here. 
anyway down. <laughs> mm, I don't know. But yeah, you can see the old railway wire and the old concrete um, fence post. Stop people trespassing on the railways. But we ain't got to worry about that now. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That's going to get pretty ridiculous. So you know what? What I might do is I'm going to make my way around a little bit. Just try and get past this little bit of roughage. But I am on a railway bank of the Wellingborough to Rushton to High and Ferris branch line. I knew there was something up here. Well, there isn't really. It's just industrial waste, but... It's still railway heritage, isn't it? I can't go down there because that's barbed wire. That don't look very tasty. I'm not playing with that. Oh. Awesome, though. Now, I did hear from Martin Percy that there was something called treacle mines. And I thought, what, there's mines up in Rushton? First I heard of it. But I did look into it. And it wasn't actually treacle they were going for. It was just the colour of the ironstone that they were digging out. So I don't really know much on it, but I'm hoping one of you lot might. So if you know, please leave down in the comments for me. Please teach me. Ooh. God, windy, isn't it? Oh, let's get back in here. Oh yeah, push perps. Oh. You just see how it keeps level. Goes round, that's awesome. Yeah, not really many relics to see though. I mean, like I said, you've got these concrete posts just randomly, but that would have been the railway wire and stop you trespassing onto the railway tracks. Hmm, there's no mile post markers. Not that I can see. Hmm, it's just getting higher and higher up there. I wonder if we can get down the back of these warehouses. Yeah, that, that railway bank's right on top there. You can see it all the way along, look. I didn't think there was anything left. Oh yeah, look at that. A well-maintained gate. Yeah. Looks like when we're a council. <laughs> you know, I'm not climbing that. That's barbed wire. So I want to know if I can get down along this bit of road. So give me a minute, I'm going to jump to the other side of that fence. Right, so there's the fence just there, and I'm by Cine World. It's kind of rather large. Um, but yeah, you can see the railway bank comes all the way along here and goes along, and then it kind of stops. But just before it stops, I did notice a bit of a relic, and I can't seem to get to it at the moment. for now send up the camera over the fence so you can have a look check this out da -da -da, da -da -da. and if we just come up probably about there have a look at that I may be able to go around the other side and see if we can get on there so there's massive green fence I'm a bit too fat to climb we don't climb things. Not when we're filming, anyway. <laughs> oh, put a fence up this way as well. But yeah, you can really tell, look. Proper railway bridge, love it. Yeah, that's a bit better row, isn't it? Ooh. There you go. Oh. Nice. Right, now I believe I've got to cross over the A45 and go through the industrial estate and kind of meet on with the railway there because where the roads were put in to replace the railways it kind of destroyed this railway so um but Rushton have turned it into a footpath Woo! so give me 10 minutes 
I'll find out where I'm going and I'll uh, highlight on the map to you all where I am. So, won't be long. Hmm. Town centre, that way. But is that railway up here? Yes, it most certainly is. Awesome. Into history. Yes, we are. Railway history. My favourite subject. Oh, this looks like a dismantled railway bridge. Oh, we've got an information board as well. Look at that. Download the All Aboard for Rushton app to get started. Hmm. I think though that app, I'll bring little Edward up here with the missus and we'll do that. So this would only be like a little footpath bridge. Oh, is that a mile post up there? No, it's just a bit of concrete. Oh well. That's awesome, isn't it? I'm afraid there is actually no way up on that one. So we'll just have to uh, make do. I mean, yeah, 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 your boards are minging. The greenway runs from Rushton through High and Ferris to Earthlinborough and onto Islip via Stanick Lake. So, oh yeah, I've done that walk. Um, it provides us, oh, you know what? I know these boards. These boards are absolutely everywhere. And um, you'll find them all the way down past Stanick Lakes and through Earthlinborough. Um, yeah, it's a proper greenway. But at the minute, where are we? So Waitrose, we're here. So if you remember the bridge that we found, it actually curved off round about here and then come through the industrial estate. But of course, we couldn't find it here. So we're just picking up here and we're going to walk it round to here, which is the museum. And I might walk up to here a little way, but if I did the whole lot, then, well, I'm going to need my other SD card and I'm afraid it's all filled up with drone footage. So just for today, we're going to go to the Rushton Transport Museum. Awesome. Let's go for it. Imagine a little steam engine with only about two, maybe three carriages coming up and down this stretch of path. Set my imagination off on a wild one. And of course, I was born in 1986 and Beeching's closures, they were in 1964. So all the steam era, I completely missed. So I have to go by the stories you guys tell me. And every time you tell a story, it makes my imagination more vivid, more vivid. And I love it. And from that, I can come out, come do the videos. Awesome. So do feel free to leave down your comments down below with your memories. So I love hearing them. And next time I come and walk all this, you know, I can mention you over. It's a shame there's no mile posts, no markers. But we're definitely in a gully. So, a gully is when it's the railway dug into a path and a bank is when it's been raised up above. railway sleeper I see a railway sleeper it's quite hidden up there but I can see it 
just there. Beautiful. Uh, big shout out to Nathaniel as well. Thank you, little buddy. I'll see you later. And he's uh, actually just told me where something pretty cool and abandoned is. Oh, up there. Hmm. Maybe one day, but not today. Today we are on the mission. Railways. Yes, yes we are. <gasps> oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's pretty epic. It's a greenway. Oh, that's pretty epic. Wow, that's a good one. That's a good one. How did they do that? That's amazing. That's all on the other side as well. should be on top of the remains of the bridge that will cross this main road here and head over the road into the railway museum so um, yeah I suppose I better get down from here one way or another and uh, see what this wall of the bridge is like yeah so this is the last remaining bits of the bridge and you can tell it was double lined it weren't single so you have one there and one here anyway beautiful little station isn't that beautiful hey oh wow what have we got here Oh wow, oh brilliant, look you've got the signal box, isn't that awesome, there you are. this access may be closed without notice and given where reasonable practical, Western Historical Transport Society cannot be held liable for injury or damage, yeah 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 yeah, anyway let's have a look, oh Wow, look at that. That's awesome. And look here, look. Wow. 
142091. And even here, look, I'm on rails. <laughs> and there's an old bridge. Oh, and an old engine. Right. Oh. Well, it does look like they're closed for the moment. So, um, what I'd do is I thought I'd walk up the line and see what we can see. So I've got the Sigma box and a class 31206. Nice. Buffet car. Awesome. And I do believe this side's part of it as well. So, hmm. Oh, there's a boiler. Cool. Oh, it is Rushton Goodshed. So maybe part of the railway went up and then come back on here. I'll tell you what, I don't know. So I'll have to just show you on the overlay maps. So I bet this little engine here is the frame that you can see just over in there. Anyway, what we'll do is we'll walk up a little way and we'll see if we can look down the line. If I can send up the drone, I will, but if I can't, because of this road, well, we'll have to just make do with what we've got. Oh, signals. Granules. Oh, 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 a brake van. Oh, wow. I like this spot. Wagons. Oh, I've got seats on there. Cool. Um, I did see a bridge a little bit further up there, so maybe I'll go find that bridge. Oh, wow. Not allowed on the bridge. Oh, maybe it's structurally not sound. Well, look, right, well rusted, isn't it? Cool. Um, yeah, <laughs> we'll go a little bit further. <laughs> it's going to be one of them. I'll, I'll just go to there. Oh, no, I'll just go to there. Oh, no, I'll just go to there. <laughs> Next thing you know, we'll be at the end of the railway here. Awesome. Cement wagon. Tunnel cement. That's awesome. Now we've left Rushton Station, this railway line will carry on going into High and Ferrers. And there was a little bit of a story I heard from John Abbott, the chairman of the Ringstead Heritage Centre. And he tells me there was a bit of a war going on for, um, for High and Ferris Station. So London North Western Railway that runs from Northampton to Peterborough, ran from Wellingborough and then went up to Ringstead. But at Earthlingborough, they were gonna do another little railway that would go off into High and Ferris. So therefore it would have been part of the London North Western Railway. But the London Midlands Scotland, which is the East Midlands Railway, runs from St Pancras up to Scotland. Um, they were fighting for the rights. So <laughs> they ended up building the, the spare arm off the viaduct going into Rushton and then onto High and Ferrers. So London Midlands Scotland actually won the station. But there's a whole big story, I'm pretty sure, if you go over to the Ringstead Heritage Centre group, they can tell you all about it as well. Cool. But yeah, there's the end of the line. But at least we got to see some rails. 
Yeah! And I've never been here before, so lovely. Lovely. Well, there we go. End of the line. But you can see how many people are down here. Now, I was going to send up the drone, but it's going to be a little bit too dangerous for people to be walking under. So, um, I can't even get into the field over there. So, never mind. I suppose one morning I can come out nice and early and I'll send a drone up when there's no one else about. So. But yeah, just for today, I think that will do, won't it? <laughs> From Wellingborough Station to the viaduct and through Rushton Lakes and into Rushton to the end of the Rushton Transport Museum. Right here. That will do, won't it? So I hope you've enjoyed that one just as much as I've enjoyed filming it. Epic.
there's the last pick. I hope you've enjoyed that one. Me literally starting at half past seven in the morning, walking around Wellingborough Lakes. Coming round Rushton through Erchester, then walking the dismantled railway line on the way back. Yeah, I think that's an adventure and a half. Right, but now it's one o'clock, so about four and a half, five hours later, I'm ready to go hang my boots up. So, if you like that video, hit that like and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon. Oh, peace, love, and light. Oh, heap of unity. What a walk. Ha.